personality is irrepressible. Her look leaves a lasting impression. She's Giselle Bündchen. I never thought I was going to be a model, and then I come and, I be, and I'm a model, and it's so much fun. Next on Model. Giselle Bündchen has brought dynamic energy to the world of fashion. She's always alive and excited and has an energy that I think is very important. She brings a spirit, a live spirit, that makes everybody in a good mood. She's not a perfect beauty. She's got a slight imperfection which makes her to me more beautiful because she's not the pretty face of the girl next door. But her self-assured style has earned Giselle prestigious campaigns with Versace. Dolce and Gabbana, and Missoni. By the age of 18, Giselle graced the covers of 10 leading fashion magazines. You have you seen the body? The body is unbelievable. In the next half hour, you'll see how Giselle has become one of the most coveted models in the industry. My life is pretty much always crazy. Like, if I'm not doing shows, I'm working like in jobs and shoots inside of the studios won the hearts of top designers. She's a great model, she's terrific. Walk the runway for Victoria's Secret's first ever worldwide webcast. And still manage to stay close to her family. I'm a happy person, I have a great life. Giselle Bündchen was born in South America. I'm from this really, really, really tiny city in Brazil called Horizontina, which means horizon. There's like 17,000 people there. Growing up in a big family gave her a sense of security and self-confidence. I come from like a huge family. I have five sisters and, and my mom, so it's like seven girls in my house and one man, just my dad. It's great. As a teenager, Giselle hoped for a future in sports. Everyone wanted to be like a volleyball player in my city. Now I wanted to be a volleyball player too. I got into modeling, I was in a shopping center in Sao Paulo when I was uh, 14 and um, these people from Elite, Brazil, they found me in the shopping center with all my friends. So they came to talk to me and my mom was with me and then they invited me to be an Elite and I'm like, no, 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 what is that modeling? I wanted to be a volleyball player. I'm like, you're wrong, what are you talking about? This woman from the Elite Brazil, she's like, you've been selected to, to do uh, the look of the year from I'm like, what? I was asking, what is going on? Who is this woman? She's playing a trick on me. It was no trick. Giselle had been selected to participate in an event that had launched the careers of Cindy Crawford and Stephanie Seymour, the prestigious Elite Look of the Year contest. They got there, it was like 100 million girls. I had no idea what model was. I had no idea how to pose. I had no idea how to act. I was just like, oh my God, what am I going to do, you know? It was really, I was really freaking out. Giselle, Brazil. Giselle's natural grace earned her a spot among the 15 finalists. Can you please? Giselle Bunchen, age 14. Despite her impressive debut, Giselle didn't leap into modeling. I was like, you know what? I don't want to be a model. I want to go back home. I want to finish my school. A year and a half after the elite contest, Giselle finally decided to pursue modeling. And my agency was like, okay, Giselle, you're going to start the shows now. You're going to go to London, you're going to go to Milan, you're going to do Paris, and you're going to do New York. And I'm like, oh my God, I was excited. I was like, let's go then. I actually had lucky because when I started in London, I didn't have a book. I had like five pictures in my book. And I was so shy because I didn't speak any English. It was so hard for me. Like, I came like in the cast, I was like, oh, I'm Giselle. And then in 97, I went to New York. In Manhattan. Giselle got her big break when she met top photographer Mario Testino. You know, I'm Peruvian, she's Brazilian. I spent most of my summers when I was young in Brazil, so we immediately bonded. A top photographer's opinion of a model can influence the decision of designers and fashion editors. With Mario Testino's support, Giselle's career began to blossom. He was the one that really started putting her name out there. Giselle's confident yet youthful elegance earned her campaigns with Dolce & Gabbana, Missoni, Ralph Lauren, 
at Versace. Giselle was in New York for less than a year when Allure magazine decided to take a chance on her. We'd never used her before. We worked with her on the sole reference of Mario Testino. I had to speak with her 20 times on the phone, because you know, that's a risk really for a magazine, is to take a new girl, because you know, they haven't been proven, so you don't know what you're gonna get. She took a risk, but I think at the end, she was very happy with it. She carried a shoot that was long and beautiful. That body is something else. While the magazine layout was somewhat controversial. The whole shoot was really sexy. The, the whole idea for the shoot was sexy clothes, and the pictures were sexy by design. The photos reflected Giselle's confidence and ease in front of the camera. That was my favorite story that I ever did. It's like just was so relaxed, was so simple, and was so beautiful. Well, I think they're sexy and they're sexy. I think they were girls that are young, they're having a good time, and they're happy with themselves. I hope it didn't hurt anybody. Coming up, the hustle of Milan. You're going to see me like with all these different weird faces, and you're going to be scared sometimes because sometimes the makeup is really ugly. A lingerie show on the internet and a dip in the pool next on Model. She was discovered in Brazil at the age of 14. A few years later, she moved to Manhattan, where she met famed photographer Mario Testino. He, he's like the one who started me. He, he like the first one, the first like big photographer who worked with me. Her self-assured style led to campaigns for Missoni, Dolce & Gabbana, Chloe, and Ralph Lauren. By the age of 18, Giselle Bündchen's confidence and charisma made her one of the most sought-after models in the fashion industry. Giselle is, uh, is probably, if not the hottest model in the world at the moment, certainly one of the hottest models in the world. The more that you enjoy the job, you know, what you're doing, better it comes out. Giselle's vibrant personality has attracted some of the top photographers in the world, including Steven Meisel, Bruce Weber, and Mario Testino. The personality is just so incredible, and, and that's half of it, really, because if you work with a girl, even if she's gorgeous, but she bores you, I don't think we're running to book them again. Her photogenic vitality landed her on the cover of ID Magazine, W, and Italian Marie Claire. My driver is you, Dad? And I'm like, oh yeah, it's me. But Fashion Week in Milan is when Giselle's disciplined professional work style really shines through. Mm, when I'm in Milan, I don't do anything. I just work. I work all day, and then I come, I go back home at the hotel, and I sleep the next day. I wake up again, and I never really go out or do anything else. I just hang out in my hotel room. The week begins with fittings for all the major shows. Now I'm going to the bar and fit in there. Oh, it's beautiful, because from the light come, it's like changing color. Yes. You like the uh, stocking. Oh. The stocking dress. Yeah. What, what happened, like, during the, the fitting is just like, is you come and you try the clothes, you fix the clothes for the show. So when you go to the show, your clothes fit you and they look good on you. When I see her, immediately I say, this is one of the best. Beautiful body, beautiful mind. So now we have Miss Sonny doing the fitting, huh? <laughs> Look, my bikini. Uh, Judy, Jennifer. Beautiful. I know. It's so many hats. I came for the first time to Milan, and these guys book me. <laughs> they trust me, you know. So see my first season in Milan, I'm doing the Sony. Finally, it's showtime. When they say it's going to start, everybody starts to dress like crazy, and in the middle of the show, it's just... It's like, I think you haven't seen, it's just like, everyone is changing so fast. I have like five seconds to change from one clothes to the other. It's nothing glamorous, people pulling your hair, scratching your face, taking off your makeup, like changing your makeup like five times a day. No, it's not really glamorous, you know, but um, I like it, so I, I do it, you know? Giselle's focused work style enables her to do up to 12 fashion shows in one day. Now it's kind of crazy, you know, like you don't have really time to breathe because you're kind of running to one, to another, changing your hair, changing your makeup, so you, you don't really have a lot of time. Oh my God, I'm so late. Giselle's confidence on the runway keeps her in high demand by some of the biggest design houses in Milan. 
those shows that I'm doing this season in Milan, I just like love all of them that I'm doing because they're really like really interesting, like really different, really strong, you know, and you can have your personality in the show. They don't ask you to walk anywhere, you can do whatever you want, whatever, you know, so you just be yourself and enjoy the show and do a good show. All the traveling Giselle does is made easier with the company of one of her best friends. Let's be that. Oh, oh, look at the camera. Giselle's dog, a teacup terrier named Vida, even made it into a campaign for Valentino. Vida has one picture. Did you saw it? Uh -uh. She has a picture. She has one picture in that, in that, in that uh, campaign. It's really nice. The dog is, uh, is, a, is a lately big part of her life. A model like Giselle constantly travels on plane, is in a hotel. She, in a way, lives out of a bag. It's a beautiful, glamorous life, but sometimes you need somebody to be with. So the dog is a perfect companion. I love her. I'm like a mommy. I'm always having pictures of my baby with me. <laughs> Coming up, a visit home. Friends on the farm. And Victoria's Secret. Next on Model. Giselle Bunchen's modeling style has youthful vibrance. She's great, Giselle. She's so sexy and she has so much life. Her personality, if you know Giselle, you know, she's almost like Charo. Dynamic energy and a disciplined work ethic. Okay, as a model, you have to wake up early every day at 7 o'clock in the morning and go to work until 10 o'clock at night. When her hectic schedule finally slows down, Giselle finds there's no place like home. Brazil is the champion. There's no one else like Brazil. Giselle clearly inherits her easygoing personality from her large, affectionate, fun-loving family. Yeah, this is my my house. Like we have we have like big family, so everything is like this is my mom. Mine. So this is my older sister Raquel. She's 26. Mm -hmm. This is Fofa. She's 23, she just broke her arm three days ago. Oh, wow. This is Gabby, she's 17. Oh, yeah. This is Fassi, she's 12, she's 11. Soon to be 12. Yeah, she's soon to be 12. This is my dad. I'm not going to tell his age. <laughs> and this is my twin, twin sister, sister. Patty. My mommy. <laughs> I love her. She's so sweet. <laughs> Imagine, my mommy has to, has to uh, take care of six Five. girls. Reunited for her homecoming, the Bunchen family brings out Giselle's fun-loving, playful style. And provides a familiar showcase for Giselle's natural talents. Giselle is proud of her roots and eager to show off the charm of her small hometown. Here is our city. So this is where I grew up. Like when we are young, we used to like play around here with all my friends, like my neighbors. And here is the only light in the city. Wow. It's the only uh, thing. So this is the only one you have to stop because the rest is it's fine. But it's really, it's really cute. <laughs> Down there is my club where I where I I used to go play tennis and volleyball when I was young. And this is my school. Oh yeah, we can stop here and can get ice cream. Giselle stops for a taste of nostalgia at her old after-school hangout. This is chocolate, this is dark chocolate, this is less dark chocolate, this is strawberry, this is uh, uh -huh. pine yeah, pineapple, mm -hmm. this is peach. This is peach. A trip <laughs> home always includes a visit to her family's farm. Tabo. The only thing I do here when I'm home, I ride my horse. She's a good horse. 
Giselle enjoys a ride in the Brazilian countryside with her father. Look, all you can see like from everywhere, from all the way we're gonna go, it's just green. Mm, like... Oh, look at this. I love this. With her energy restored from the beauty and simplicity of her Brazilian life, Giselle returns to the rush of the fashion industry. Coming up, stepping into the next millennium with Victoria's Secret. I think it's just really romantic and really beautiful. I think it's going to be a great show. And a look at Giselle's future. Yeah, she'll stick around. She's got a big career ahead of her. She exudes confidence. She defines contemporary glamour. She's spirited and self-assured. And when Victoria's Secret staged their biggest fashion show of the year, they turn to Giselle. It's completely different from all of the other shows, so I think it's going to be a, a lot of fun. Giselle's self-assured style makes her an ideal choice for Victoria's Secret's first ever internet lingerie show. Victoria's Secret always looks for women. They're very beautiful and sexy. It's going to be live on the web. Millions of people see it all over the world, and we knew that the models had to have great, terrific bodies, but also have a sense of confidence. This is the first year we're using Giselle, and um, we have noticed her um, for a while. She has a beautiful body, great personality, and um, she's really perfect for Victoria's Secret. She's very long, very lean, and she understands how to move in a very powerful way. Giselle uh, uh, brings a lot of strength to the runway, a lot of grace, a lot of beauty. She's one of the girls that opens the show, and the opening of the show is um, Valentine's Day in heroin. So she's in one of the um, crazy uh, silver warrior outfits. As the pressure mounts before the curtain goes up, Giselle remains confident and upbeat. I think it's going to be a, a lot of fun. So yeah. I'm, I'm exciting. <laughs> let's see. Let's start. <laughs> With another big show behind her, Giselle reflects on her professional goals for the future and the challenges they present. You can have your style, your own style, which is your you, but you have to be able to change a lot because I'm like this, you know what I mean? I'm like totally trash. But then yeah, I do Ralph Lauren or I do whatever that is chic or I do um, Miss Sony that is a little bit different or, or Versace that's totally different, you know? So you have to be able to change. If you don't change, I don't think you, you'll be able to work as much, you know? because then you're going to have just one look. Now I'm learning to change more, so now I'm, I'm be able to do like different kind of shows and different kind of campaigns and work with different photographers too because I'm, I'm learning how to, you know, not to be always pretty, sometimes be ugly or sometimes be um, laughing, sometimes be down, whatever, whatever they want you to be, you know? From covers to campaigns, from runways, to the World Wide Web, Giselle Bündchen's personal style makes an impact. She falls very much into the category of individual style. It's the same, an individual look. It's going the same way as fashion is going. Well, she has a clean, fresh look. And the hair and the sensibility is a timeless sensibility. She's not a trendy kind of girl. The way she moves and walks in a show, it's like with so much confidence and so much style. She's glamour, she's but new glamour. She's not too much sexy, it's a good balance. She's um, not completely beautiful. Her face is not perfect. But um, she's very sensual. I like the dark skin. I like her eyes. She's just uh, a woman who would look great 20 years ago and 20 years from now. And she looks a little like my daughter, so that I can't lose on that level. Her personality, if you know Giselle, I mean, she walks into a room, she is fun. I mean, she just turns the room on. Less of the skirt showing is better. <laughs> More of Giselle, less of the skirt. <laughs> <laughs> we really love that skirt. We love Giselle. 
the first moment you will meet her, you will realize that her best quality is her simplicity. It's being a simple, normal person. I never saw Giselle upset. I never saw people working with Giselle complaining about her being difficult. And everybody loves working with her because they feel that not only she loves what she does, but she also makes everybody love what they do. Considering the amount of travel that she does, I think that uh, it's amazing the way she still maintains that simple, great, fun spirit. Look, look, look. Oh. Oh. I'm just me. I'm the same person that come from the south of Brazil from this little town with 17,000 people and I never change. It's really difficult for me to have bad humor and I have a great life and I'm happy. 